Farmer Jason here again at Wave Fruit Farm. I'm continuing our series of videos of what we do while we're all locked down with Corona. We're out here on a beautiful early spring day. It's still nice and chilly, but we're enjoying it. So what we're doing today is we're getting our orchards ready for spring to come. You can see behind me, we've cut all the trees down. We've got our trees pruned up really good. Um, one of our upcoming specials will be exactly how to prune both of these. That will be coming out here very shortly. We've done a pruning 101 already if you want to go back and look. But once we get done pruning, in your yards you need to gather up all of those branches and get rid of them. Well, when we're doing this many trees, we're doing thousands and thousands of trees, we can't gather up each one of those branches and throw them somewhere. So when you look down at here, I mean, you can see how much comes off of a row of trees. I mean, we have a substantial amount of brush from pieces down to just our suckers. And we have to have some way of getting rid of these. We do pull out the bigger firewood, but we leave all this brush. And so rather than trying to scoop this and put it somewhere, which would be an amazing amount of stuff, we have another machine to help us. And Farmer Brooks is driving the machine today. It is called our, we call it a CPIM. Um, we've had it for quite a while, it's not a new machine. Uh, but what it does is it goes through and it's going to grind up all of these branches. So come on with me. Again, we have it on our trusty dandy John Deere tractor. And behind it, we have our grinder. And what this machine does is it literally just beats and bangs these branches until they're all mulched up. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you underneath here. What it is, underneath here, there are these little flails that come around and they almost look like a human hand. And what they do is they grab, they grab those, that brush and they just throw it around. They just grab the brush as they swing around. They grab it, throw it up against the bottom of this and it's going so fast that with all of those, rolling around here it just completely smashes up the brush to where you can see afterwards we have to where there's not very much brush to be had and what we'll do this was very heavy brush in this row because they need to trim and you can already see how it's shredded it up a good bit to where it's already instead of a pile just a couple things and what we'll do is we'll make we'll make another pass over this to completely get rid of it to where it looks like down here where it's all gone and this has a couple different advantages too not only not only does it get rid of all that brush and make it much easier for us the other advantage to it is it puts all those nutrients that were in that back into the soil so it puts the potassium and all of those all those things that we want in there to help grow our trees right back into the soil and so the only downside of this machine is it doesn't go very fast and that's what we'll show you next
the work to do in one pass. But now he's gone back over it twice, and all that we're left with is just the little things that will slow, that will very quickly get eaten up by all of the natural bacteria and the sun and the rain. We break these down, and within a couple weeks, you won't even know that we pruned these rows, and all those nutrients will be returned to the soil. This is a process that does take a long time. We cannot do it when there's snow on the ground. This winter, we're able to keep up ahead of it because there was very little snow. But some years, we have all of our orchards to do all at once, and it can be very, very taxing, especially because that machine likes to break down. It has that big drum driven by the PTO, but then there's belts that hold it on, and we've broken belts, we've broken the PTO, and so it's very stressful for me if we're getting towards spring and that machine breaks down because then we can't get in our orchards, we can't get everything done. So luckily, we've been able to keep working on it this winter, and we haven't had too many problems yet. So. Thank you all for watching. Uh, we keep enjoying doing these, and let's just all keep positive with everything we're doing in these times. Thank you all for watching.